I am Tiraminotaur, born from sweetness, forged by rage. In this video, I'll show you how to prompt like a director, not a beginner, not a guesser, a director. Stay till the end, and you'll steal. Three pro-level prompt frameworks that work every single time, a sneaky way to break Veo's eight-second limit, and the exact mindset pros use to turn AI into a cinematic weapon. Let's build real movies, with zero gear, zero budget, and one deadly good sentence. Still cramming at 3 a.m.? Let me season your brain. Before we get into how to write great prompts, let's clear one thing up. If you're going to learn an AI video tool, make sure it's actually worth your time. So here's a simple side-by-side -side comparison of what the top AI video tools can and can't do right now. Let's start simple. Out of all the tools out there, only Veo 3 checks all the boxes. It creates audio, lets characters talk, delivers high-quality visuals, and it's already in limited use by creators. Now let's break that down a bit further. Here's what really sets Veo 3 apart and why no other tool currently offers this full package. Other tools are getting better. But Veo is the only one right now that feels like you're working with a real cinematographer. And the best part? All of it is controlled with one thing, your prompt. Most AI video tools can generate decent visuals. Some even do motion pretty well. But here's the truth. Only Veo 3 gives you full cinematic control inside a single prompt. Here's what only Veo 3 can do right now. Real camera movement. You can literally say, the camera dollies in from a low angle, and it happens, just like in a real movie. Emotion through physical detail. You describe tension in someone's jaw or wind moving their hair, and Veo translates that into motion. Not a guess, but real physics-based animation. Speech with synced lips. Write a line of dialogue in your prompt. The character will say it, with lips matching perfectly. No dubbing, no voiceovers, just type it, and it speaks. Sound effects and atmosphere. Want thunder, rain, fire crackling, or cinematic music? Add it in the prompt. Veo will build the audio environment for you. Generated, not preloaded. Now that you know why Veo is different, let's talk about the one thing that makes or breaks your result. Your prompt. Writing for Veo isn't like chatting with ChatGPT. You're not just asking a question, you're giving directions. Think of it like you're describing a movie shot to someone who's never seen it, but has the power to create it instantly. So the more clearly you describe what you want, the more control you have over what Veo gives back. Let's look at a full example. A panda warrior stands on a snowy mountain, holding a glowing spear. The camera slowly zooms in from below. The morning light glows behind him. Audio, wind blowing. He says, this is my path. Visual style, cinematic, ultra-realistic, 4K texture, shallow depth of field. This is my path. Here's the seven-point prompt formula I use every time. Subject, who's in the scene? Action, what are they doing? Setting, where is this happening? Camera, how should it be filmed? Lighting, mood, what's the atmosphere like? Audio, dialogue, what do we hear or what's being said? Visual style, what should it feel like visually? I'll say it one more time, because this part really matters. The more clearly you describe what you want, the more control you have over the result. That's not just a tip, it's the entire game. Now, just because you know the formula, doesn't mean you'll get it right every time. Let's go over the common mistakes where most people go wrong with Veo and how to fix them fast. Mistake number one, being too vague. Bad prompt, a character walking in the city. That's not enough. What kind of character? What city? What time of day? What's the vibe? Fix, a teenage robot in a neon lit Tokyo alley walking nervously. Rain falls, camera follows from behind. Visual style, cyberpunk anime. Mistake number two, forgetting camera or style. VO is a video tool, not a slideshow generator. If you don't include camera movement, it might default to a static, flat shot. Same with style. If you don't define it, the look will feel generic. Fix, always add something like, camera slowly rotates around, or in cinematic style with shallow depth of field. Mistake number three, 
trying to do too much in one prompt. Veo is not a movie editor, it's a scene builder. If you cram three characters, four actions, and two locations into one prompt, the AI gets confused. Fix. Think in shots, not scenes. One prompt you will one clear visual moment. If your prompt feels like a short story, it's probably too much. Keep it visual, keep it simple, and let each scene breathe. Up next, we'll take everything you've learned and show you how to go beyond eight seconds. Using pro-level tips to build longer videos, link scenes, and tell full stories with Veo. Here's how to go beyond eight seconds, the smart way. Step one, think in scenes, not videos. Don't try to make a 30 second movie in one prompt. Instead, break it down. Intro shot, action shot, reaction shot, ending moment. One scene, Excel one VO prompt. Link them later in editing. Keep continuity between prompts. Use the same character, environment, and style across all clips. Example, scene one, a panda ninja stands on a rooftop, night, cinematic. Scene two, same panda ninja jumps to the next rooftop, moonlight in the background. Scene three, close up of the panda's face, breathing heavily, camera shakes slightly. This makes your story feel connected, even if it's built from separate clips. Step three, use editing tools to stitch it all together. Once you've got three, four short clips, use simple tools like CapCut, Canva, Premiere Rush, or even TikTok editor to add sound transitions. Sync music, keep the pacing tight, add text or dialogue. Bonus tip, always write your script before you write your prompts. That's how pro filmmakers use Veo. They don't just generate cool shots, they plan a story, shot by shot, and they treat Veo like their virtual film crew. And if you want to take it one step further, if you're trying to build a full short film with tight continuity across scenes, use Google Flow. It's designed to help you storyboard, manage your prompts, and keep your whole video project organized. Like a real production pipeline. Want me to make a full walkthrough on how to use Google Flow with Veo? Drop a comment below, and I'll cover it in the next video. I'm done hiding. This is where things get serious. If you're just here to play around, that's fine. But if you want to create shots that feel like cinema, that hit people, emotionally, visually, viscerally, then you've got to think differently. VO isn't just a toy, it's a camera. And the moment you treat it like one, your results change. So here's the shift. Great directors don't just describe what they want to see. They direct how it's shown, why it matters, and what it should make you feel. And this, this is the part that takes your work from random AI clips to scenes that actually mean something. Let's dive into three pro-level prompt frameworks and lift your storytelling to a whole new level. One, the hero shot formula for short, powerful moments. Perfect for TikToks, trailers, intros, or dramatic reveals. Prompt formula, character plus bold action plus slow camera move plus emotional lighting plus signature dialogue. Example, a girl in a red hoodie stands on a rooftop, lightning flashing behind her. Camera slowly circles around. She looks into the lens and says, I'm done hiding. Visual style, cinematic, dramatic shadows, rain falling. Why it works? You give Veo just enough to build a visually iconic moment, instantly. I'm done hiding. The scene sandwich for building longer stories. Think of this as scene setup, key moment, emotional beat. Example across three prompts. Prompt one, a boy runs into an empty stadium at sunset, out of breath, wide shot. Prompt two, close up of his hands opening a worn journal, wind blows, text on screen, one more try. Prompt three, he walks onto the field alone, camera follows from behind, score rises, why it works. You build a story rhythm through shots, not just words. Three, the style first shot for strong visual identity. Start with visual direction first, then add subject and action. Prompt formula, visual style plus camera plus mood, then character plus action. Example, cinematic, 4K ultra crisp, shallow depth of field. Camera tilts up from the ground slowly. A violinist plays under a single spotlight on a dark stage. Why it works, 
When you're aiming for visual aesthetic, leading with style can guide the entire shot move. That's it. You're not just writing prompts, you're directing shots. And yeah, AI tools like Veo are powerful, but not perfect. Sometimes you'll need to tweak, retry, refine. That's part of the craft. So next time, don't just ask what to show. Ask, what should this moment feel like? Cheat sheets in the description. Steal it. And if you want a full Veo film breakdown, comment below. I've got you. Low effort, high impact. Subscribe if you're into that.